The Words of This Life with Apostle Grace Lubega. When Ezra became king, the land had peace for 10 years. That's the testimony of a man who seeks God. You have rest on your side. You have prosperity in your life. You can't seek God and be broke. That means that they will not attack you. No, no, no. If they attack, there's a way God will tranquilize them to a place where they will not have effect or consequence on your life. That is the portion that God has given you. There is peace in my house. There is peace in my borders. There is peace everywhere that I am. So when he says that the eyes of the Lord ran to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. This is the heart perfect to at God. You trust in Him under all situations and lean not on anything that looks like it can bail you out. That's a man who has learned to trust God. Seek God first. Be careful who you seek help from. Chances are that some of the people and things that you look to start to become mightier than you when you don't know how to look to the Lord in time of trouble. God tells Esau that because you relied on the host of Syria to defeat Israel, instead of relying on God, now the power that you had over Syria has ended. It will always be above. The Assyrian is a spirit. It confuses men to divert away from purpose in time of victory. At the point where victory is somewhere and success is there, prosperity is there, you get your eyes off God and now start looking to the things that you think give you prosperity or the things that have given you fame. You began with God. You get frustrated but because you know everybody in town. It's easier for you to call that person to bail you out of a problem because you're connected. But who connected you? Where were they before God connected to you? Where were they yet that God was with you and for more of this join us every Thursday at Umalugogo from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Finero make man